Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then spirit has a message for you. So let's get into this great angel spirit. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, Spirit. How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Okay, so right away we have the Three of Swords here, Pisces. So there's definitely someone who's feeling a lot of pain, um, a lot of heartbreak here. Yeah, someone wants to talk to you. Someone's heartbroken over you, Pisces. They want to have a conversation here with you. I feel like they feel like it's like urgent. They need to uh, speak with you. I also feel like there, there could have been like a very spontaneous breakup. Um, like it just came out of left field here. It was very impulsive like got into an argument and then it's like we're done and it kind of came out of nowhere um someone's very very sad though here someone's very very heartbroken um could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius tell me more the chariot cancer energy the six of wands the seven of swords this could be this is very specific someone could drive a really nice car this person could show off like in their car they could travel to come see you or like if they're at a distance like they would always be the one to come see you here um but the seven of swords is here so i feel like this person is not telling you that they're heartbroken here they're not telling you that they want to come forward that they want to have a conversation here with you it's almost like they're too proud like they're too proud to say something here um tell me about that seven of swords strength leo energy the hermit yeah someone's just like they're they're keeping quiet they don't want to talk about how they're feeling they they're holding back here um virgo energy here yeah this person's not talking about how they feel which is heartbroken and the very first card came out the three of swords this person is sad but i feel like they hide it they don't they don't want to so this person could have even been the one that ghosted this could have been the one that you know took back their energy like just out of i feel like it was almost out of nowhere too um but in reality this person is too proud to come forward here they want to they want to have a conversation here with you but they also don't want to admit that they're they've been sad about this here pisces yeah tell me about the three of swords please spirit the two of swords and the two of wands you're getting two two this person could have told you like they don't know what they want right now like um you know they were indecisive about something between the two of you right they could have been really cold they could have been really detached they could have like been really mean actually in the way that they said things to you um and i feel like this person actually they feel really sad about what has happened here but they're not admitting that Lots of air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's all up in their head. Um, this person uses logic more than emotion to guide their actions, which, you know, logic plays a role. But I feel like when it comes to relationships and like commitment and love and what have you, like emotion is a huge part. And so I feel like this person um, kind of avoids that a little bit here. Um, yeah, they could have just told you like, 
like they just don't know what they want. They were undecided um, about what they wanted for the future and they were really cold. They could have just like cut you off out of nowhere here. Um, but I feel like this person puts on a facade, like material things could be important to this person because like I've never gotten with the chariot and the six of wands that they could drive a nice car, but like I feel like this person likes to show off is what I'm getting. Um, but they're, they're holding back here, yeah. Well, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Pisces, please? The moon, Pisces energy. The Empress, wow, they're not telling you. They're not telling you how much they actually value you here. Um, so the sun came out first there, and then I'm going to put all these back. Yeah, this person's keeping it a secret here. The, the moon and the sun are here. It's like, I feel like you bring so much balance to this person's life. Um, you make them feel really good, make them feel really happy. There's a lot more to this person than they let on. I feel like they kind of present, it's, it's like they present a personality, they present a persona, but there's so much more to that. And I feel like you actually like bring that out a lot a lot in them, but they don't want to tell you that. I feel like they're keeping it a secret about how much they actually value you here, how much they actually see your worth. Um, so we have Pisces, Taurus, and Leo energy here. I feel like I need to go to the other deck, so I will. Um, tell me about this Empress. Tell me about the Empress, please. We're getting the sun again and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person, Pisces, like they just see you you are it. You are the be all end all. Not only are you very, very attractive and this person feels like the chemistry between the two of you is like off the charts, but like you just, you made this person see things differently as well, I feel. Like with this sun energy coming out twice, it's like they just feel like it's like aha moments came up all the time with the two of you. I feel like this person wants to keep it a secret though. Like they're not gonna, tell me about the moon. Oh, okay, <laughs> Never mind. They're gonna have a conversation here with you. Everything that, that was mysterious about this person that maybe you didn't understand, maybe you didn't know, you wanted to know them on that deeper level. I feel like they are gonna have a conversation here with you, Pisces. I mean, that's not how it felt at the beginning, but thank you, Spirit, for clarifying. Yeah, this person's going to open up. They're going to have a conversation here with you. You make this person very happy, Pisces. The sun coming out twice there, like, wow. I also feel like, tell me about this Queen of Wands. The moon, again, it's all the same energy. If there was a third party situation here um, and this person like kept it a secret here, I feel like I feel like there's something about th there's something about that that's going to come to light here as well. It's not going to be a secret anymore is what I'm getting. It's just like it just feels like secrets revealed, like everything coming to light here, everything coming out in the open. And I feel like this has been a long time coming here, Pisces. Yeah, if this person had secrets, I feel like they're coming out here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to invest in you and in this. Three of Wands, the World, Three of Pentacles. Now you're getting three, three. Yeah, this person wants you. They want to invest in this. They want to work together. Like they see you as their future here. I feel like um, they're ready for whatever cycles got on between the two of you. If you're in this cycle of not talking of this person, not telling you how they feel, like they want to change that here. Of course, Pisces, you may be at the point where you're like too late, um, but this person's coming forward either way here. They, they, they want this. Let's see their intentions though. What is this person's intentions with Pisces? The Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, the Chariot. It's all the same energy coming out, the Eight of Pentacles. It's like this person doesn't want to let you know that they want to work on this, that they're coming forward. It's like they maybe they want to try and surprise you here. Uh, 
Yeah, they, they want some sort of transformation here. Scorpio energy here. This person wants to work on things here with you because if it feels stressful, if it feels burdened, yeah, there's a, like, if, if there's been pain here, I feel like this person wants to transform that. But they don't like to talk about it. It's like how they feel, they're going to keep it secret, they're going to deceive but they're coming forward with a truthful conversation, but they also intend to like keep things a, keep things a secret as well. Like what? Like tell me about the seven of swords, the page of swords. They're spying on you. They're not letting you know that. The high priestess. They they. It feels like intuitively they know that the two of you are supposed to connect, but they're not going to tell you that. Like they're just going to spy on you. Tell me about this Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups. This person has so much love for you and it like stresses them out. Maybe they can't tell you right now, Pisces, because if there is a third party situation right now, right? It's like they've had a clarity that you are it for them. But I feel like there could be another energy here with that Three of Swords coming out there, right? Like there could be... Like, the, like this person can't come forward with their feelings right now. Tell me about the potential outcome. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, higher level of commitment here. The Emperor, you're getting the Emperor. Um, and the Empress was there. This person wants to step up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This person wants another chance. Ace of Pentacles, this person wants a fresh start here with you, Pisces. Six of Swords, oh my gosh, yeah. This person wants to move to calmer waters here with you. They want this here with you. They, they see you as that Empress energy. You are it, and they want to step up and be this Emperor for you. They want a fresh start. They want to move to a better place. They want a higher level of, of commitment here with you, Pisces. Anything else? The Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups. They worry. They worry that they missed out on this. Look at that. The Empress again. They worry that they missed out on this amazing opportunity to be with their divine counterpart. This could be a twin flame. Right? That keeps running. If this is the runner. Um, this person worries a lot that they're going to miss out on this opportunity here. Because the ball's in your court here, Pisces, is what I'm feeling. You get to decide what happens with this because this person wants you. They want something solid here. They want to move to calmer waters here with you. They want higher level of commitment, but they're worried that I feel like you won't accept. And maybe you won't because of what's happened, right? Everyone's story is going to be different. Um, tell me about how will Pisces know who this is? We have the Eight of Swords. Could be an uh, air sign. Page of Cups, someone who wants to apologize. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone from your past, Pisces. This is someone from your past here, someone you have history with, someone who wants to apologize to you, someone who's actually, there's a lot more internally going on than, than they let off. Like, I feel like this person struggles a lot with like self worth, self image, self esteem, even maybe. Um, this person could be younger than you. They don't have to be, but it's definitely someone you have history with here with that Six of Cups energy, someone from your past. Six of Cups can also indicate someone from the past like lives that you've had past lives with. Um, so take that as it resonates. Anything else? Could be a water sign. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely could be younger than you here. Seven of Cups. Someone who could have kept their options open. Someone who was maybe confusing. Right? Who, when they did offer things, it was like it wasn't enough. Pages are like they can be immature, they're like the students, they're learning, right? But it's like you needed this person to step up. Um, so, yeah, they're coming back here. Any advice for Pisces? Any advice? We have strength and the fool. So, I feel like here, Pisces, like. I feel like what I'm getting from this is like the again the balls in your court. You can choose to hold back or you can choose to go for it. 
right? But I also feel like spirits like don't be a fool. Like, you know, if this is coming, if this energy is coming back around, which it feels like this person's from your past, um, you you know this person. You know how they're how they are. You know how they are. Wow. Okay. Messages for Pisces, please. Oh, okay. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So again, this person could travel to come see you, but this could be like a long uh, physical, mental journey with this person as well. Messages for Pisces. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. I mean, I kept picking up that they were younger, but they could just be immature. Right? Um, the older man could be you as well, or maybe both of you. Um, could be them. Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. And then we have Rose. Romance is in the air. I mean... This person knows you're it with that that emperor energy, emperor empress energy. But there's not a lot of emotions on the board. Again, I feel like this person avoids those. Butterfly, a change for the better. So things are changing here. Things are coming to light. Pale, time to get out of a situation. Could be you, could be them, could be both. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. That could have been what was the issue between the two of you. I feel like there's a lot of hidden messages here for you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. I wish I could take back my words. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. I don't want to be contacted right now. I wish to be left alone. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah. I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood trauma. So if you left this person, Pisces, right they could or you like take that as it resonates i don't feel guilty for how i treated you my ego is too big to care so i'm saying i feel like this person is very proud um i need to free myself from fears and doubts i am a caged bird there's a lot here i cannot listen to your voice it affects my soul I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I can come back to you. So, I mean, I, like, there could be third party energy here, right? Um, so that could be like, they can't come forward right now, even though they have these feelings for you. Um, we have not enough, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. Yeah, so this that's that eight of swords energy, right? Like I do feel like this person could struggle with that. Um, we have the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapt, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. So I'm saying a lot of things are going to come to light here, Pisces. This person's going to open up. We have backstabbing, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. And then we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. Any other messages for Pisces? And then we have self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So remember that that self-care is so important here, Pisces. Thank you. We have guardian angel. You are not alone. You could be seeing feathers like this one. You are not alone here, Pisces. Like even if it feels that way, um, you have like a whole spirit team, I feel. I feel the need to read that, so I will. Just give me a moment. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that are close by. Remember they are working hard to guide you. The guardian angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the guardian angel's business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life and or this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say your guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Your spirit team, always with you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, spirit. Thank you. Improving health. Okay. We have yes. So if you were asking yourself a yes, no question. And then we have let go. So, I mean, this can be letting go of the situation. This can also be letting go of the need to control the situation. And we have asked for help from others. And then I am seeing within the next few weeks there. So let's see, messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. Nothing is yet set in stone. So, oh, things can change. We have a look at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy. And then we have bring love into the situation, Aquarius energy. Messages for Pisces, please. Oh, okay. Okay, we have chop wood, number 42. Ooh, I'm seeing soulmates at the bottom. Number 42. Let's read this. From the book. Are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Being grounded in everyday experience, humility. Okay, so taking action towards something. They are t they're asking me to do one more from here, so I will. Messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. We did get a change in the wind, number 12. So I will read this one as well, because I feel like that first card was um, more to do with maybe career. But let's see. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other, and stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is coming now, sorry, whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. All right, Pisces. So let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have G, N, Y, H, X, number seven, and number eight. Okay, Pisces, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy, love and light.